Hardest hit areas as we showed you is southern New Hampshire. WBC's Tammy Mutasa is live in Marlboro tonight to give us a look at the storm damage there. Tammy? Chris, it's pretty wild. A lot of significant damage that people were not expecting. Just look behind me. You can see here at this dealership a trail of toppled trees right here in this wooded line. And check this out right there. A big tree just crashed on top of that truck. Yeah, that's a truck underneath there. And all over this property, you can see trees that fell down from powerful winds. And luckily, no one was hurt. Fast and furious, a powerful storm rolling into southern New Hampshire fueled by intense heat, leaving a trail of destruction. Trees snapping like twigs, knocked over by winds. I've never seen anything like it. It was just like crazy wind and things getting like picked up and thrown around. At Dublin School, a summer camp was underway. When winds picked up, ominous clouds moved in and the lights started flickering. Campers took cover when they heard trees snapping. It was all over in a matter of minutes, but the damage to the school left windows blown out, roof shingles ripped off, and trees everywhere. The quad of our campus was just kind of like swirling. There was lots of um, like debris going, trees looked like they were flying, and so then I went into the bathroom. In Marlboro, a giant tree crashed onto a truck at the Marlboro auto sales. Toppled trees fell all over the property. People stopping by to look at the damage in shock. Had some weird weather lately, for sure. That's for sure. It's still not clear what touched down, a possible tornado or a storm. Either way, its power was unexpected to those who weathered the storm. I've been up here for three years. This is my first time seeing it. So, um, I mean, it was reminiscent of like a hurricane. Like, that's kind of what it felt like. And back out here live, again, the National Weather Service says tomorrow they're going to be doing a storm survey to figure out exactly what caused all this damage. But for those people who lived through this and saw this happen, they're pretty confident it was something very strong. For now, live in Marlboro, Tammy Mutasa, WBZ News. All right, Tammy. And look